so the messages from 2050 is basically uh, what's happening afterwards, right? Uh, the world thought we were uh, everything was great, and uh, we were living in this this world that we created, and this beautiful world that we solved climate change, and everything's fantastic. But um, but then the real truth comes out. So that's what these messages from the future are. So today was the real the first one, the really first message from the future, and it basically it was long, but it it needed to be long. It kind of told told the um, the whole story. So it tells, you know, what happens, what the global brain is, all that kind of stuff. And then um, at the end, it says we must gamify the world, which is that's what these uh, the Vines for Humanity. They're saying basically use this game, play together, uh, use it for as a tool to refocus our brain, build our character so we can create the artificial intelligence system that we want that is going to be our overlord rather than the one we don't want. Either way, it's gonna happen. And what it's doing is just feeding off us. Everything we do online, now everything we're doing offline and even more so with sensors and uh, 5G and all that kind of stuff, we're always gonna be tracked and it is learning from us and it's going to know us very well in the next 10 years. And that's what it's gonna become because we are all connected and what we focus on, the world will focus on. So. That's where this comes in, OC squared, I mean OC to the power of three or OC three, and that's the observe, uh, connect, create, and collaborate. We need to, to understand that um, we live in this insane, incredible world, and there's a lot going on, and reality isn't always what we think it is. So that's the first one, observe. And then we learn to, to uh, connect. The more we observe, the more we slow down, the more we can see how things interact and interrelate together and connect. And um, that brings us to the ability to create from that observation and connection. We're able to create something, solutions, ideas, art, whatever it is, based on all these connections. And the more we do it, the more we get better at it. And then that final piece is the collaboration, which I have a hard time doing because I'm always feel like I'm working or doing something else, but I know how important it, <clears throat> important it is. So that's my, my lowest on the score, even though I think it's one of the most important. Um, so my OC3 uh, is actually OC213, being two is create more creativity, one is being able to connect, and three, the ability to really collaborate and work together. So um, I know that's the one I gotta build. So there's never, there's always one that you're working on more than the others, so that's kinda how that, that OC3 works and um, and I'm building curriculum if you want to call it curriculum I don't want to call it curriculum it's just um, ways that we can practice being more observative and being able to connect things more and create more and collaborate more so that's what the backs of the cards are all the colors uh, coincide with the uh, the pillar the name uh, whether it's observe connect uh, create or collaborate so that's um, that's basically here. I've got to put it in the augmented reality. So every, I'm hoping every 10 days, maybe with these, uh, with the messages or every week, I think at least every week for sure is um, uh, the card backs will change and it will be a different growth task. So we got 10 years to really raise our human intelligence, to build our character before we teach this global brain what we really are and what she really thinks um, uh, we want. So she's not a bad global brain. This isn't going to be something that says all humans are bad unless we're really bad over the next 10 years. I think what it's going to do is it's going to give us more of what we want. It's going to say, uh, I understand that's what this human a human is in general. So it's going to be more general to, to give us these things of what we don't want. Now, in the story, it's a little more uh, devastating. Uh, the messages from the future basically say that we are uh, we think we're happy. Everybody's in this dream world, almost like the Matrix type thing. And uh, and since we are all connected, we're you know we've we've been uh, able to connect our our cerebral cortex directly to the um, the global brain. Uh, that that was done in the mid '30s. So uh, we've had uh, plenty of time to acclimate to to being. Um, uh, as you say, controlled. I'm uh, visually impaired. I actually have star guards, so I can't see. Um, I have no central vision, and um, and 
because of that, I've always looked at things in multiple ways because I never trusted my eyes, right? But I've also realized um, a lot easier that reality is um, not always what you think it is. So having these, uh, these disabilities and these adversities, um, that's where my team comes in and we're the ones who see that the future or the present where we are in the future isn't quite real because of that glitch. We're able to, to recognize that something was off and that's where that team got built and we're trying to convince everybody else. It's been five years that we've been trying to convince everybody that this is really happening. No one's listening to us because they're controlled by this global brain. And, uh, and it's really us trying to figure out how to fix it. And then unlike like Terminator, where they, um, they come back into the, the present from the future and try to kill the corporation that created the, uh, the robots that killed, that was you know, taken over the world, this is more about changing humanity's character because the, the, the global brain, which is a collection of all these art, uh, artificial intelligence systems, uh, they, uh, they're learning from us. So it's gonna happen anyway. So what we need to do is we need to change our character. We need to level up our character because it is feeding on the data, the information that we give it. We are the, the parents of the global brain, every single one of us. And they'll look back and they'll be like, yeah, this is, these are the guys who, uh, who created this character. And I hope to use the, the game for, for many things, right? The, the artwork is, uh, it's fun, it's surreal, um, adding in the augmented reality. Uh, I just did the last one, it was uh, really fun. It's called Change. It's got the little uh, green iguana on it. Uh, definitely check that one out. And then, uh, you know, with the cards, you're able to, to have all the artworks and play the game, put the puzzle together. In playing this game, you can contribute to this global game, right, of uh, putting the, the points into the, into the world and, and working together. And maybe, you know, maybe that brings us closer together. Maybe, that, maybe that's, um, that makes us more connected and, and more human. And maybe that'll do what, you know, let's level up. Just level up our human intelligence, build our character, at least show the global brain that that's what we're trying to do, right? So uh, she's coming. We just got to see uh, what she becomes. Lots of work to do.